Hey guys, welcome to another episode with Clueless. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start a new campaign. I'll probably run this concurrently with the no cav um, challenge that I'm running right now. I had gotten a comment from Saketh, C-V-E-S, and he asked if I could please do a Vlandian campaign. And I'm more than happy to oblige. Uh, so thanks, uh, Saketh, for your suggestion. I went ahead and skipped all the boring stuff and uh, kind of created my character. So let's go ahead and take a look here. I already have 30 points in writing, 20 in polearm because come on, it's uh, it's uh, Vlandia. So I have to I have to be mounted. I have to be a knight, and so I chose the most knightly uh, <laughs> banner I could find here. And we are, I am Hyrulebert of the Iron Cross Clan, is, is what I am. So, um, I am going to make my way over to the um, Vlandian lands over here. Now, Vlandia has some pretty strong crossbowmen. Uh, so, that's probably going to be my strategy in the beginning. They have some pretty good uh, men-at-arms as well. Some knights, uh, mounted knights, and uh, disarmed knights. Uh, but in the beginning, you can put down a lot of enemies with just a, a ridiculous number of crossbowmen. Also, one reason why I like uh, Vlandia is that when you're first starting out, uh, the their recruits are spearmen, and they're actually pretty effective spearmen in groups. Even though like they're really squishy, <laughs> uh, they're you know they take an arrow hit or whatever, and they're basically done. Uh, but in large groups, they can. Uh, kind of very quickly put down enemies with their their stabbing uh, spears. So that's probably going to be my angle. Do I have a? Is this a land? I don't think this is a land. This is just a thrusting spear. Oh, the rocks again. Kind of got to let them throw their. Hitting, hitting my horse, I'm not gonna have a horse to fight. <laughs> Come on. What? Throw all these rocks. They have so many rocks. Careful, I'm kind of off my game today. I, I don't know, I've been feeling a little weird today. Oh. I deserved that. That was really dumb. <laughs> Alright, oh, let's go. From the ashes, I will rise. time. It looks like they're kind of taking me part of the way of where I need to go.
Okay, let's get over to land the lands. Sargot, and let's start buying some recruits. Unless, of course, there is none. They're, um, the Vlandian, what are they, sharpshooters? Man, those guys are ridiculous. Can't wait to show them off when I finally get some. Okay, let's also buy some food. I'd love to get me some horses as well, so I can move a little faster. to get into a fight because <laughs> I got to pay these guys. I know there are looted parties over here. Should catch up just fine. Hopefully I'll catch up before I take the morale hit for no payment. Oh, I'm just catch him, catch him, catch him. Right there. Ah, that sucks. We're not going to waste any time. We're just going to charge him in since they're just a group of spear, you know, spearmen right now. This is what I mean if you look at them. Super squishy, but those spears are lethal in large groups. We'll see right now. I think I get a piece of this. I need my revenge. Put them all under levies. And literally this whole group. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Take all their junk. Let's see, is there anything worth me equip taking from them? sell this stuff so I don't get caught again without cash to pay my troops perfect and there's another looter party waiting for us I hate fighting in the dark but I'm gonna do it Hopefully these um, crossbowmen that I have will help even out the playing field a little bit. Whoa. Follow 
come over here as much as I can. I want those guys running across an open field so they get drilled, absolutely drilled by my um, crossbowmen. I don't even care if the infantry never get a chance to engage. little target for my crosswoman you see they're already putting a bunch of them down. Only one. Wow. Well I'm just gonna get a bunch of free experience right here. Super essential experience for me. So I'm okay with that. Oh, one made it out. One made it out. But that's okay. <laughs> My character got a ton of experience. That was awesome. Still not sure why they routed so easily, but uh, I am. Uh, I'm not gonna complain. I am not gonna complain. Walked out with a good bit of loot as well. Goodness, this this is just great. Wow. I'm still kind of amazed. I can't think of the last time that something like that happened where I just completely routed a party that early. experience as well I'll pick one up later I guess for now let's continue hunting down some of these parties perfect well to my point as you can see the crossbowmen are very effective I mean they again they only killed like three or four before the party broke but then again they are looters it's not like they're uh, elite tier type of unit to be fighting really weird i don't think it's gonna happen again if it did i'd be really surprised but uh but if it did i'd also be perfectly fine with that <laughs> as you can probably Move! Move! okay let's see if we can recreate the same situation in retrospect i kind of should have moved a little closer here let me see can i move my guys closer Move! Archer! I'd love for them to get a pretty clear shot of these guys coming across the bridge. They're going to be bunched up. It's perfect.
They fought a little harder this time. They definitely killed some of my men. But, still the same result. We won. That's the most important thing, that we won. <laughs> Close enough to the uh, Vlandian lands, we can just do a loop back around, scoop up however many troops I need to replenish the ranks, and then be good to go. Levies, let's put the levies into range. Again, nice bit of loot. Let's go sell, swing back around, and uh, replenish my ranks a little bit. Doing really good, really good right now. Oh, uh, you know, outside of me getting captured in the very beginning of the game. <laughs> Within the first few seconds of playing. And I can now afford to pick up some horses, but my god, they're so expensive, I just don't get it. I just don't get it. At minimum, let me get a horse. You splurge a little bit on myself. And is there a lance? Imperial light lance. out let me see I'm gonna need more horses because these guys typically run at a speed of five I'm running at a speed of five right now which means I will not be able to catch up so I'm going to be forced, whether I like to, want to or not, I'm going to be forced to invest in, uh, in horses. That's fine. I'm not that bothered about it. Mild, mildly annoying. I don't want my party to be too big either, primarily for the same reason. I don't want it to be slowed down. Let's grab all of these guys. That should help. As long as it's like 5.1, I should be able to outrun most parties, most of the bandit parties. Unless, of course, they're like step, step bandits or something. Those guys are so fast because they're all on horses. I don't want to fight little looter parties like that. I want a bigger party. What do I have here? Oh, I have some looters I can sell. I forgot. I always forget about those guys. See, they're running at 4.8, I'm running at 5.2, so I really should be fine. Don't fight at night, don't fight at night, don't fight at night. Ah, okay. Let me let them run for a little bit. I, I really I hate fighting at night. There we go. 
So I think what I'm gonna do is try to get a core of at least um, at least 15 crossbowmen. That should be adequate for doing a lot of damage to most groups. For example, right now I have, let's see, just eight, and they will um, break this party by themselves right now. Or they should. Or will they? <laughs> nice. Actually, almost there already. And this guy is one tier away from a sharpshooter. Now check this out. From okay, so this is the levy crossbowman. They have 40, 40 bow, excuse me, forty crossbow, seventy, a hundred, and then one hundred and thirty. So this guy went from here to here in like what two minutes. <laughs> um. Or no, not not all the way up there. Actually, he's here. But once you have uh, a group consisting of mostly the hardened crossbowmen and the sharpshooters, I mean, you take down everyone. It's ridiculous. Now, in terms of the troop tiers, the uh, the cavalry of the Vlandian um, army is, you, you know, I would say superior. The heavy cavalry is superior to any other. In the game uh, but their surgeons as well they're really good I mean they have stellar infantry these guys can hold the line for sure so my goal is get at least 15 crossbowmen you know miscellaneous mixed in this tier and then I want to work on getting some sergeants and I'd like to get noble infantry for the banner knights the banner knights are the strongest heavy infantry in the game and uh, yeah second to none I don't think so That's the goal. All right, let's keep looking around down here for more bandits. I'm going to let these guys just charge in. Saketh uh, also suggested in another video not wasting infantry on tactics. So I'm going to do exactly what he suggested. Just send my infantry in and sit back. Um, because the tactics thing I th in this game is... I, I definitely think it's broken. And I'll just couch lines, couch lines while I have a chance. Oh, I missed. <laughs> Trying to make it more cinematic. should be it right so five 
and seven is what is that? That's twelve. Okay, so I do need I need a few more. I need a few, at least two more to get my fifteen, and then the rest I'll dump into infantry tiers. Let's get this guy up here. Honestly, we're off to a pretty decent start. I'm already tier two in um, my clan, so I can recruit up to 45 troops, and that's more than enough to come up with an effective warband. Let's send everybody in. Kill them all! These guys. Actually, you know what? Let's do something fun. Let's Hold our own. Let's have the infantry forward. How far are they? <laughs> the game rocked on it, but then it's so funny. Alright, let's sell this off, and I think this is a good place to call it for this episode. Uh, I'm really enjoying this campaign. I, you know, I'm re I really think I'm going to enjoy this campaign. Uh, what I'm going to do is recruit more infantry, get more horses so we can move, and then uh, go around killing looter parties, and I'd love to join the Vlandian uh, Empire. Um, and let's see if I can get myself a thief, a wife, and all that good stuff. <laughs> Uh, big dreams, big dreams in the beginning of this game. So thanks so much, guys, for watching. This has been another episode with the Clueless Gamer. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification button, and I'll catch you on the next one.